What's up, man? So I want to touch on real quick on the, the situation, the Brian Norman Jr. fighting boot situation. According to Eddie Hearn, he says that he offered Brian Norman Jr. Uh, $1.5 to fight boots. Brian Norman's father, they, they feel like that was a low ball. They feel like that wasn't enough, you know. And I said something about that in my previous video. I said, well, if they don't want to take 1.5, on one hand, you can't really get mad because it's like you figure out, you figure they got to pay their team and then, you know, the taxes and all that shit. And then it's funny because I think that's similar to what Senior said. I didn't even know he said anything like that. And I, I was just thinking about it, but... You gotta look at this thing on both sides, bro. You gotta look at it from both, both so many different aspects. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get that. But on the other hand, I believe his last fight, Brian Norman made like close to two hundred thousand. So, and that wasn't even a, um. I don't even think that was a title fight. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. This is what I I had read somewhere. It could be wrong. Um, he probably made more than that, but I don't think he made close to two million dollars his last fight i'm pretty sure we all could agree on that right so if eddie hearn claiming he offered 1.5 it probably was going to be some other stuff attached to that I mean, it was one five guaranteed probably some back end stuff when you look at it like that bro i say he they should have probably just go ahead and took that shit took that fight dude he should have took it man because you got a chance to get a belt unify and get a million some change i would have i would have took that shit bro and this is this is the problem I, this is the problem man this is why turkey yala chic to me is a is a blessing man and, I, and this is this is one of them reasons why i think a lot of certain fighters two you already know the fighters i'm talking about i'm not even i only feel like even entertaining them today a certain couple of fighters have a problem with turkey yala chic and there's reasons why because he cuts through all of that um, that that money mess. He he eliminates all of that. Okay, you get you 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 on this side of the street, sixty forty. Da 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 da. He eliminates a lot of that. Now I'm pretty sure he doesn't offer them the same amount. I'm not sure if he was the fight if if he was the uh to work out the boots and Brian Norman fight. If he was to give boots uh equal pay as Brian Norman because they both got one belt, right? So I don't know how that would work. Boots, um, from from his resume, from the resume standpoint, I think Boots' resume is a little bit better than Brian Norman's. Um, almost, you know, um, similar, you know, but I think Boots got a, got a few more better notches under his belt than Brian Norman, so Boots probably would earn the most. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how that goes. They, they, that's something that they would have to work out amongst themselves. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is. Coming from making home almost nothing to making 1.5 and then plus some back end, I don't see why they didn't take that fight, man. I really don't. When I look at it from that aspect, he, I mean, why not? You know what I'm saying? Um, now, and then it's funny because if he would have took the fight and beat Boots, or if he would have lost the Boots, Brian Norman stock still would have went up. Cause, cause, yo, bro, you fought a dude. That a lot of people didn't want to fight. They was ducking boots. A lot of these dudes. So you got in the ring and you you tussled it up with boots, and you gave boots a good fight. Your stock is not going down, bro. You gonna earn a lot of respect. You gonna earn a lot of fans from that. And now you took the one point five. You probably could demand that and even more, and probably can't take any real low ball office after that because you fought somebody for one point five. Why are you gonna go back down to two hundred thousand? You know what I'm saying? I think you would have been up, he would have been up from here if he would have took the fight with Boots for the one point five plus. Especially if he never he's not coming from making one point five. And this is a, I mean, dude, he got a belt. You got a belt. It's not like it's not like Boots. Um, you know, one point five is good to fight Boots, man. That's that's not bad at all. That's not bad, Boots. It's not like Boots is already unified and Boots been collecting the other belts. He has one belt. So I, I think that's good, dude. That was a good P 
payday. And then if if you want to look at it from the tax aspect and everything, how hard was it? To, how hard was it for them to take care of all of that with making two hundred thousand dollars? Now you're making one point five plus. Now you got more money to pay your team. The taxes ain't gonna ain't gonna hurt as much because now you're making more than you ever made. So you still gonna have more in your pocket after you take care of the taxes and you take care of your team. And now you got more left over in your pocket. I don't get it, bro. I'm not understanding this shit. It's not making much sense to me. I mean, to them, maybe it makes sense because I ain't them. You know what I'm saying? We can only give our opinion about it. You know what I'm saying? But I look at it like, same thing I was telling, same thing I was saying about Crawford and Spence before they fought. I was like, bro, if they try to offer Bud 30, take the 30, my God. Beat Spence ass, take the belts, and now you up. And you see, right? But... The situation didn't go that way you know what i mean it went a little different um bug got a lot and then you know i think they got the, the same amount of money i think they um uh, arrow you know wanted it i think he split it down the middle i think that's what it was um i correct me if i'm wrong on that but you see what happened you see what bud is at you see where he you know you see what bud is right now and if even if bud didn't take that and he, the bud was like yo i'll take less See how Devin Haney decided to take less and bet on himself against Cam Bosis. And you see what, what what was the outcome. He ended up being undisputed. You know what I mean? So, sometimes you got to take that gamble, bro. And now it might look like people might start thinking, well, damn, he didn't take the fight. Maybe they're not too confident in, them, in, in Brian Norman Jr. And I already told y'all what I thought was going to happen in the fight. I think... My honest opinion, Boots was Boots edges him in a close fight. I think the fight would have been a rematch. I think the first fight would have probably ended up in a draw. Some people don't agree with that. I think I think they would have the fight would have ended up a draw, and then the second fight, Boots would have edged a split a split decision. That's how I think the 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 second fight would have ended up. But now we may never even know. We may not even get that fight. Hopefully, somewhere down the line they can go revisit this. Because now I'm hearing Brian Norman is fighting some other dude. And he's not going to get $1 million from this dude, obviously. You see? You know, this is one of them things, bro. I hate seeing stuff like this, man. You know what I mean? This is going to be a topic of, a, um, of one of my next videos, man. Fathers in boxing. Okay, I never really spoke on this much. We have a lot of fathers in boxing. And I think I'll talk about, you know, I want to I wanna get y'all opinion pretty much. Do you think they're bad for their sons? And are they ruining the careers of their sons? I'm, I'm not saying Brian Norman in particular. I'm just, I'm going to talk about all the fathers that's currently in boxing right now with their sons. Are they good for their sons or are they bad? Or they need to step aside? You know, I just want to get an honest opinion on that, man. But, I, you know, as far as this fight, dude. I think I think he should have took the one five, dude. Cause he probably he was gonna get more than one five. He was gonna go on pay per view. He was gonna get more than one five. It was gonna be back in and then a guarantee. I mean, they didn't think about that. They could take care of a lot of the taxes and all that with the damn back end, and a lot of them still could probably come off on top with that one five. You know what I'm saying? They probably gonna, you know, I'm not sure exactly how they do it. They they put it all on one check. The, the guarantee and the back end probably come later. I think the back end come later, but. They're going to pay taxes one, one way or another on the back end, whatever. you still coming off with way more than you would have got on a non-pay-per-view fight or, or, or you fighting on on an undercard or something that's pay-per-view. Now, you they were the headline more than likely, right? It was a, that was a unified matchup. Oh, come on. You know what I mean? They would have they been getting the, the lion's share, all of the money, both of them, Boots and um, um, Brian Norman. I don't get it, bro. I'm a, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little heartbroken over this one. Cause I really wanted to see this fight. I think both of them is dope fighters. Um, damn, boxing. I want to get y'all opinion on this, man. You know what it is? It's your boy Rebel Light Boxing. I'll catch y'all in the next one. And I'm off this.